Hey everybody, it's me, J2XP here, coming to you with a tutorial. How about that? So anyways, this is Spy Fox and Dry Serial, a game that I speed ran not too long ago. So why am I... I'm gonna make a tutorial explaining exactly how I got my speed run. Well, first off, let me just say there's this YouTube user. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce his name. Just an annotation here. He messaged me saying he wanted to use my speed run as a explanation video for his French viewers, which I thought was cool, but then I thought to myself, huh, I've been wanting to make a tutorial for a while now, so I thought, and why not just make a speedrun myself, show you some tactics I use, show you some new tactics I've discovered since. As I align the screen, there we go. So, we're going to start from the top. So, if you're playing the 2007 version like I am, and most likely you're not, this, that humongous title screen is unskippable. If it's any other version, it is skippable. What you want to do here is press the escape button once, again, and then that next time you hit escape brings you here, I wish I hadn't hit escape I again. Which one I should now instead of doing this, this wastes time. Normally you're supposed so to find I left my the correct pen to use, but for whatever reason, you press escape and hmm. you just get past so that this? entire scene. I'm not sure why, but it just happens. Also, you want to make sure slow inventory is on. I didn't do that for my it's speed run. Of Mr. I didn't do that for my speed run, mainly because I forgot to, but what's he going to do? I got sub 4. That's good. Uh, the paths you want, and debug functions are banned from speed runs live races, and it's also is kind of cheap. I didn't want to do this for my speed run. I, I easily could have. I could just set everything. What you want is the car chase key, doesn't matter what key it is. We'll get to that later. And alligators. Explain I'll explain more in detail later. What you're gonna do is click on the fortune cookie. Five 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 and four zero two three. You're going how to fortunate that monkey enter that as fast as you can. So let's see how fast I can do it. Five 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 four zero two three. And then Again, mash escape to get past the scene where Spy Fox enters mobile command and gets the laser toothbrush. Now this little spy watch thing is unskippable what? until Spy Fox starts talking. Now on the talk of transitioning screens, there's something very worth noting with the cursor. Now see when I click the when I click an area for Spy Fox to go to, the cursor disappears. Obviously, you can't do anything while he's moving. But this may be a no-brainer, or maybe it isn't, I don't know. But when you click, when the cursor is not there, you can still move it. As you see, I moved it to a different location while Spy Fox was moving. And even while mashing escape, it's still like a second of the cursor being invisible. So what you could do is, in that second, move your mouse closer to your de destination. Like, see, my cursor got up to here a lot quicker than had I left it there and then moved up. It's already there and is much quicker. Maybe by a couple seconds, but every second counts in a speed run. So I highly recommend it. It's an amazing trick to master. Kind of difficult. But Here's where I keep you'll get the hang of it. Now for this laser toothbrush, we're gonna click. We're gonna mash escape. And then we're gonna click again. But preferably you'd click and escape much faster. Now get you through the door pretty quickly. Here is this hmm. part where if you missed it utterly, it yeah. takes time. What you do? That makes the pool. What you do is you just alternate the click and the escape keys. Yeah. And Spy Fox is gonna have a piece of dialogue. You want to press escape an extra time when he talks to skip that. Yeah. And you see just alternating. The if you can alternate at the right speed, you can make it go down pretty fast. And then once you're done, you once it's frozen, you free Mr. Early and skip all the cutscenes. Now here's the spy gadget vendor, spy gadget vending machine. What you want to do here is there's only three items you need to be at the game with this setup. The you don't need the X-ray gum. It's not ideal for this run because pretty much the only way to at least with the route I'm using, if you want to get a key, 
you might as well just find out for yourself and get some practice done in the run instead of just what you normally do is you get the X-ray gum. Use on Mr. Utterly. I found the note. One flight. Now it doesn't waste too much time, but every second counts in a speed run. I'm sure glad. And if you get the correct pathway after like many times of trying, you might as well just skip it. So no X-ray gum. What we do need is spy putty, the coin, and the suction cuff links. Now the thing about this spy vending machine is that it goes pretty fast. In the latest Spy Fox games, you have to... It goes at like this speed. You have to wait. But in this game, you don't. So it's much quicker. So what you do when you first enter Mobile Command, press the arrow once, get the Spy Buddy. Three more times, get the coin. One more time, get the Cufflinks. Those are the only three items you need to beat the game. This setup gadgets rather. Again, we're gonna use that trick of manipulating the curse. I guess not manipulating, but it helps. I can Again, you can do that. It's really a handy trick to master. It may be kind of difficult because you got to do that a lot, but it's well worth it, I assure you. Now here we're gonna get the ticket to go on the do dock party, deck party, whatever. And this is you can easily mess this up. I've messed this up quite a bit of times. There's a lot to do here. What you want to do is... Let me save. Let me save some random names. I want to make a couple saves so I can demonstrate a few more things. So we're going to take this Here's slowly, then I'm going to show you this part in action. You want to give him I noticed the... that there was a party going on talk balloon about the weasel then you buy with well, your drachmas you ask him to buy one of these things on the stand it could be the tuna it can be the bear it could be the cat it can't be the fez the fez doesn't activate the cutscene you need it just activates the dialogue you ask for the teddy bear, bear. To pass up a deal like this i'll take the teddy bear and now Let's here just, you yeah. only want to press escape once because you know what happens ah. when you press escape again he goes back and if you do that too quickly I See, look, I pressed escape twice and he just went back, which wastes time. So only I press escape once, even though ah, he has ah, an animation of getting down. Just press it once, trust ah, me. You spy putty on, on. Ah, the ticket. Ah, so you can see it's kind of a lot. Let me show you more in action. <sighs> Stupid slow inventory mode. Welcome. I grabbed it. Okay, one more time. And then we leave. And then we give this guy the ticket we just got. Yeah, we give him the ticket. No. Skip his dialogue. I go up to the deck party. And here we are. Oh, this is the spy. What you want to do with Russian Blues? Just click on it once. I can gather. So you get a talk balloon. This dog. And his. This is where I need to save. So the thing about this is that. You need to grab the sheep music while he's looking away. So the idea of this, if you go at the wrong time, what do you think you're he'll going? Not let you. The timing I found best is his little stick thing there. When he taps that twice, or is about to tap it twice, you go like one, go. There you go. You get the waltz music. I've never been involved. But what you can do is, well, what I'm about to show you is that. You can't skip the cutscene until Spy Fox gets the waltz music. See, I interrupted it and he didn't get it. You can press escape as soon as he grabs it. I've never uh, as soon as he puts his hand on the waltz music, press escape. That'll give you the waltz music. Okay, once we're done with that, again, Hi, honey. using speedrun tactics, get into the cantina. Here, there is quite a bit to do, so just bear with me. Use the Drachmas on the chicken knuckles. Why don't you give me That'll one order you. of chicken knuckles? That'll I allow you to buy them. Also, another worthwhile thing is that pressing period will. I'll keep my. We'll skip dialogue texts, which only comes in handy in one part. Use the chicken knuckles, the secret sauce. That'll put secret sauce on them. Hmm, chicken knuckles. Yes, and give the waltz music to Johnny Gecko. 
Screw Bandcamp. Fucking suck. I hate it. Anyways, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go into here. Back into Mobile Command. And then we're going to give Monkey Penny the talk Monkey balloon Penny, about Russian Blue. Tell me? That gives you Walter Wireless. We're gonna go back to the deck party. Using speedrun tactics. And now... This is a new trick I just discovered. I don't know what the deal is, but... No matter what timing you give the dog the tango music. Hmm. I guess you, you can, can teach old dog. Let me just do that slower. You can I don't know what's up with it. Excuse See Spy me, Fox. But you're in my way here. Can get interrupted, but for whatever reason, if I press escape, it puts hmm. that in. I guess you can teach old dog. I didn't dog realize that during the run and I would have saved a few seconds. But that's definitely a worthwhile trick for you to use. In fact, if I do redo the speed run, which I said I wouldn't. I'm really tempted to, though. I'd consider that. Now here, put Walter Wireless in the purse. But wait! Now if you I hit escape too like soon like I did so there, much. it doesn't work. And then when you have to turn it again, you do have to wait. You want to mash, period. You want to mash it so you get past Spy Fox's dialogue, which actually is this cutscene quicker. I'm just gonna wait till the inventory pops up. You wanna wait till the cutscene where Walter Wires gets put in the purse activates. As soon as that scene activates, put him in the... You, that fuck. I'm impatient. See, this is what happens when you're impatient. I'm just gonna cheat and fast forward. It's amazing what a difference a little sheet music can make. <laughs> Okay, let's wait. Now skip. And you want to put your cursor on the corner of the deck party hey, to exit watch. the area as fast it as possible. About my dry cleaning. Please stand I'm gonna by. Kiss, skip that dialogue. Now here's where you can just go ballistic with RNG or play it safe and go over here. What I mean is that in here you get a click on the drainage pipe, you get a code. The weak black cat. You'll see what that means very soon. Here's the car chase. Now, thing about the car chase, you can easily skip this. The paths don't change on the car, so I'm just gonna speed through this. This part's pretty self-explanatory. I need. You press escape as soon as you click the area going in. It makes it go ridiculously fast. So as soon as you click your destination, you escape. Sometimes Spy Fox goes to the destination by default. That's really unreliable, so don't do that. It will, at best, it'll work once or twice. But just click. Anyways, click on the ground exit. This was Skip the cutscene with Volta Wireless. Here's where we need the code. The weak black cat. If you want to save time, you can skip the getting the code and just guess. But the thing is, is that there's many different codes, and That's I don't recommend that. Getting it doesn't waste much time. Anyways, you can actually enter this before the effect is done. For some reason. Anyways, here's where the run can take a turn These for the worst. Coupling. These things. The idea is behind the. Oh, see? I fell. You're supposed to scale the wall and get past these water traps. If you fall, you gotta start all over again. And this can easily vent and a really good run. Because by this point, there's a 1 in 3, I don't know the odds, but once you get this far, you should know that you pretty much got all the paths. You still fail, but whatever. Anyways, the reason we chose the car chase I'll path, I kind of forgot to mention, here in is because the white water path, if I can get show you why is the thing why is this have to be so useless Greetings. during interested in little game place your trinkets on the table yes we'll this is the reason when you have to god during the white water pathway you have to beat mr big pig and go fish which means you have to buy the trinkets and f play go fish with him which takes way too much time far more time is worth on top of that, 
you have to do this missile part. Maybe the pilot. Which also takes time. It's not a lot to. And you have to memorize coordinates. So, Whitewater Path is a million times slower. If I can even figure out what room I was in. My car's gone. No. Anyways, here's. I better okay, I'm doing this way out of sequence. I'm sorry, this is very poor planning. I actually did a earlier take of like halfway, but realized my commentary is shit. Okay, so we're here. Skip all the all the dialogue. Enter here. I'm just trying to explain why the pathways are fun. Car chase is faster. If you see Let me show you what you don't want to see. If you see this guy here. You know you got the wrong path, and you pretty much have to reset. When you get here, if you see the cockadoodle food trophy, you know that you got the wrong pathway. Unfortunately, with the the things to disarm the missile, you find out much later. Why is this so useless? This Damn. must be where William the Kid. So why is this thing so useless and unwieldy? So anyways, that's that about the pathways. Anyway, now you want to go through here, enter the locker rooms. You want to memorize this code. You want to do it very quickly, because at the same time, you're going to be checking all these lockers for a yellow jumpsuit. A yellow jumpsuit. And, all, and you want to exit quickly, all while memorizing that code, which can be tricky. Don't click on this locker, it doesn't open. Careful, because you can easily exit. You can easily exit, and that can easily ruin your run. Or at least waste time. So I got lucky, got the... I didn't get lucky, but I got the jumpsuit. Put that on quickly. Anyways. Uh-oh, uh -oh, someone's someone just escaped. Here, we want to memorize the code. This I lucky. actually didn't. Silly me. If you don't memorize it, you gotta go all the way back, and it can take time. And Spider Fox talks more, so again, time wasted. Is that it? What was it? If I, I'm so bad at this game. Okay, just press that down. Anyways, now we go up. You go left once. You go inside the Nog room, and you're in the hallway to the kid's office. From here, you want to use the coin on any of the guards, or the ground, There's I guess, the and enter the office. Oh, this must I should. Anyways, here's where you can screw up, or... The key I need is protected. You need to see this key here. If it's anything else that's not the key, it won't be there, and that means you need a different item. You want the key to be there. It's the fastest thing to get. Well, diode argue. Diode's arguable, but I'll explain why you don't want diodes. Here, this could take a bit of problem solving. Why does this look exactly like the one I did in my speedrun? Okay, so there is a bit of trial and error to this. I somehow got the exact same... This pattern randomizes, I think. And for some reason, it's the exact same one in for my speedrun. Interesting. What you want to do is see lasers going one way. You can tell by the arrow. You can tell by the arrows it's going one way, and the lasers have to end off into another corresponding color hole, whatever. So this is pretty simple. You can see that, that the lasers one. out of the way, or the red laser. La lasers pass straight through vertical or horizontal ones, depending on the direction. If it's face on, it won't work, but as you can see, it's going straight through, so there we go. It can be randomized. Apparently, it wasn't for me. I don't know what's up with that, but grab the key. And now we want to hurry back to the main room. And you want to go in here. Normally, there's dialogue, but I already triggered it because I'm stupid. And anyways, anyways, now that we've gone this far time to use the keys. Now the keys, whichever key it is, is RNG. 
There's five different keys to choose. From. Now, which key should I use? And Mr. Utterly will tell you which key you need, but you pretty much have to guess. If it's the wrong key, it wastes time. I know what key it is. Diodes are just as fast, but the problem is that diodes, there's ten of them. And as I will demonstrate... This lever actually, seems I can't to be demonstrate. a gerbil on and off. There's ten diodes to choose from. Somebody turn and the they all... To try another one, you have to go all the way back to this room. Which wastes too much time. So we're not going to do that. Anyways, just use trial and error to figure out what key it is. It, then you get the right one, just keep mashing escape. I'll... Once you see the, once you saw that cutscene, you know it's the correct key, and that you progress the story. Oh, it's making me thirsty. Now we want to hurry up, up here, go right, and you want to click on this entrance way where kids ask got got caught. Now, once we enter this room, you want to click on the door that brings the alligators up. Now, as you remember. We got secret sauce. Chicken knuckles of secret sauce. Mmm, chicken knuckles. Which you need. I don't know why I'm gonna say it. But anyway, because I screw up, I guess. But, now see the alternative. This room is randomized. The room just before. That door over there is the final. That door leads to the final room before the bad ending. See, that room could be too. This is the alternative. What the room can be. It can also be this, the cockadoodle foo. Now the problem of cockadoodle foo is that once you get here, then you get it. Here's where my note. Oh my, I use are you gonna give me talk boon, son? I don't know why he's not giving it to me. You get a talk boon from him. You go all the way back to the cantina. And then you get a book so you can bypass him. And then once you do, you have to listen to what move he's using. That wastes way too much time. It's not worth backtracking. With the alligators, you can get everything you need in one trip as soon as you get to the cantina. Which is why the alligator's path is much faster. Plus, there's a lot less steps. So as you click on the door to activate the alligators, got to be awake. use chicken knuckles once their heads are up. All and then you click on the door as you an hop alligator. As soon as you get here, hit the lever. I and anyways, now that's the end of the game. Um, you can skip the dialogue. I don't know why. I just do Cooper. it just cooler that way. Master escape and mouse keys. The cutscene can end at any second, and you want to make sure Not you so get bad, through as fast kid. as possible. Stop. Keep mashing escape. Don't stop until you get to the credits. And there you go. You've beaten Spy Fox in four minutes. Or depends how fast you want to go. So that's pretty much it. There is a good ending that I can show. I, think pretty much I can't access my saves. I don't think the game appreciates you doing that. But anyways, I'm going to show you the good ending for Why Not, in case you want to get... Good ending run. I don't know why you would. You can follow my steps. So, instead of going out, you want to go. Instead of going back where you came, you want to. Excuse me, this dialogue does anything. But you want to make sure that you exit out. That window, <laughs> click on the cement truck or click on the giant door thing. Not so fast, kid. You want to mass escape till you're here. Make sure your mass is over it. And pretty soon, click on the ramp just, just as fast ahead. as possible. I kind of failed. Mass escape till you're here. So, this is why good ending can be kind of a pain. You need to memorize these coordinates, and I have a very bad memory. So, 4 degrees south, 10 degrees west. We want to go up here, grab two items, and that's it for this room. Go down the plane, and go to the front. You want to go here, two, and enter the coordinates. 
And there we go, that's it. Then you want to click on this box. Use the screwdriver. Click the correct head. Press escape. Put the toaster. Why can't I skip that? I press period when Spyfox is talking. That's the only way to skip that line of dialogue. Press period. On. Keep mashing escape. And period. And then you win the game. So, that's it. That's how you beat Spy Fox and Dry Cereal in four minutes. Now, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Good luck on that one guy who's gonna make a French tutorial. Hats off to him. He's a great guy. Really like the speed run, and I'd really like to redo the speed run, but God, was this a pain in the ass to do. For the first time. But I feel that with the new tricks that I've discovered, such as tango music, I probably could do this since... And if I get better key luck, and better wall climbing luck, I can easily beat this game in like... 3.30? 3.40? Probably closer to 3.50, but... 3.40 at most. I seriously doubt I'd be able to beat this game. Sub 3.30. But anyways, this has been my tutorial. I could make more tutorials, but Jam Sam 2 seems kind of self-explanatory. This is kind of in general. I would have gotten away. Plus, this game might kind of be confusing. I'm rambling now. Thanks for watching.